Hello, I'm Beth Wagner, physical therapist. This video is for you if you have neck pain while driving and you want to fix it. There are three common postures or positions that cause neck pain. Now the first two, sitting position and sleeping position, I've already addressed in other videos. Click the links in the description below to check out those videos. In this video, I'm going to address driving posture. It's important to address each issue in this order because each one builds on the one before it. The first issue we see with driving is having the seat too far back. The ideal seat back angle should be about 100 degrees or just shy of straight up. Once the seat angle has been adjusted, let's look at seat posture. Number two is slouched posture. If your hips are too far forward and you're slouched down, then your neck ends up coming forward to compensate for this curve. And that commonly results in neck pain. So we want to adjust the posture from the base up. Bring your hips to the very back of the chair. Lean into the chair and relax your shoulder blades. If the seat in your vehicle doesn't have adequate support through the lumbar area, then it's helpful to add a small decorator type cushion or pillow or a rolled up towel. To test this out for yourself, Take a hand towel and roll it up. Now you want to place the rolled up towel in the curve or the arch of your low back. So slip that behind you. Make sure your hips are all the way into the back of the seat and then rest back. You want to have just enough support to take up the space in the natural curve of your spine but not so much that it pushes you forward and overextends your back. Number three is reaching too far forward with your foot to reach the pedals or with your arms to reach the steering wheel. If you're reaching too far forward with your foot, then we tend to see slouched posture where your hips are forward. So once you make the posture correction to have your hips back and with good lumbar support, then adjust the seat so that you can easily reach the pedals. Now part two of that is reaching too far forward for the steering wheel. Ideal posture would have your shoulder blades resting down and back comfortably against your seat and for you to have a slight bend in the elbow at, with your hands at 10 and two on the steering wheel. Now if your steering wheel tilts or elevates or lowers, then it's a bit easier to adjust that steering wheel once you've adjusted your seat back and your posture. If your steering wheel doesn't adjust, then you may need to compensate a little bit with the seat back angle or the position of the seat and find the best balance point with good upright posture, easy reach to the pedals, and reasonably easy reach to your steering wheel. Number four is the position of the headrest, either too far forward, too far back, too high, or too low. Once you've adjusted your posture and your seat is in a good position, perform a little bit of a chin tuck, just bringing your chin back a little bit so that you are not in a forward head posture. Okay, so with good posture, the headrest should be about half an inch or an inch right behind the middle of your head. Not your neck and not the top of your head, but the middle of your head. So that if you do a little bit more of a chin tuck, you should be able to touch the headrest with the middle of your head. So you may need to adjust the headrest up or down or forward and back to meet that position. And the final issue I wanna address is more of a habit instead of a positioning or posture issue. And that is reaching behind you into the back seat. If I try to reach behind me to get something, whether I'm keeping my head straight or looking behind me, it's quite common to stress or strain the shoulder or the neck. So instead of reaching into the back seat, ask your passenger to help you or just pull over, get what you need, and then get back to driving. Once your seat back is at the proper angle, you have adequate support, and you're sitting with good posture, the final adjustment is the mirrors. Take a look at your rear view mirror and the side mirrors. Make sure that you can see clearly without having to reach your head forward, lift up, or lift down. If you're in the market for a new car, be sure that you try to make these adjustments in the seat of the vehicle before making a final decision. Take your time, adjust the seat, and make sure that it is a good fit for you. 
All right, looking at your seat in profile, I'll go through each issue to summarize these points. Now, the first one is the seat angle. The seat back should be at about 100 degrees, or just shy of straight up. Once you've made that adjustment, let's look at your posture. Be sure that you're sitting with your hips all the way to the back of the seat, and you have reasonable lumbar support. Using the hand towel, you would want to place that in the curve of your low back, right where your low back arches, above your hips and below your ribs. You may need to try out different size rolls to find the best one to fit your arch. Moving up the spine, your shoulder blades should be relaxed down and back in contact with the seat, not rounded forward. And that brings us to the third point, which is reaching too far forward for the pedals or for the steering wheel. Reaching too far for the pedals tends to make us slouched and the leg slides out, pulling the hips away from the back of the seat. Once your seat angle is adjusted and you're sitting with good posture, your legs should rest gently on the seat and you should be able to easily reach the pedals. And reaching forward for the steering wheel, so you shouldn't be reached forward like this with your shoulder blades and shoulders coming forward. Your shoulder blades should be resting gently against the back of the seat with your arms slightly bent. Moving on to the position of the headrest. When you've made all of these other adjustments and you're sitting with good posture, with your shoulder blades relaxed and a little bit of a chin tuck, the headrest should come about half an inch or an inch just behind the middle of your head. So that if you do a bit more of a chin tuck, you should be able to touch the headrest just about where the middle of my bun is. And then once you've made all of these adjustments with the seat back and your posture, the final thing to check is the position of your rear view mirrors and your side mirrors. Make sure that you're able to see clearly while maintaining good posture. Okay, that wraps up this video addressing the most common posture and positioning issues while driving. I hope you found this information helpful to address your positioning and posture issues while driving. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, please include them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I'm able. Have a fantastic day.